YouTube, Real Shooting here, and in today's video we're going to be doing a six cents unboxing. I'm going to try this angle here. Normally I point the camera right at the table, but I want to do one like this. You guys let me know in the comments, do you like this style better? Well, we're going to find out. Let's see. Let's open this up real quick. Got the knife. I'm pretty excited to see what's in the box. I'm wondering if it should be, this should be the December box, I would think. It ships out on the 15th, and I already got it today, which is the 18th. By the way, if you see me looking down, right in this area here, that's because I have my my laptop connected to the camera, so I can see what you guys are seeing. I want to make sure all these lures are in focus, get a good view. Ooh, I like this bag. It's blue. Just so you guys know, blue is my favorite color. I just saw some thunder. You guys, it is raining hard today, and on a Saturday, so we can't be fishing. But at least we can be opening up some lures. Check out that bag. I've never seen this bag. That's a nice one. A little six cents with the little fish scales. What do you call it? Fish bones. I got one like this, but in green. So it's green and white. But this one is blue on blue. Pretty nice. Let's see. And I'm just going to grab here at random. Let's see what I get. I feel something. These are soft plastics. Oh, that is nice. I like that color and I like the size too. Definitely going to use these. The Six Sense Divine Slim Bait. 3.2 inch. This color is called Live Minnow. Look at that. I don't have a color like this on Slim Baits. I like when they throw these in because, especially the smaller ones, I have more confidence in them. And I know I'll definitely use them as a jig trailer. I love fishing jigs. Look at that. It's like a grayish with silver, purple, and black flake. Let me try to get this to focus somewhere right here. Look at that. Very nice colors on that paddle tail. Whole lot of action on these lures. And again, I really like that size. It's a 3.2 inch. I'm trying to get a good view. You gotta put the hands behind it so it can focus. Very nice, very nice lure. Gotta pair that up with the jig. So we got some bluish looking swim baits in the bluish looking bag. Let's see what else we got. Again, that six cents divine swim bait. This is their soft plastics. Perfect for cold water fishing, I'm sure. Let's see what's next. Alright, I'm gonna get a hard bait. I, you can feel, you can you know if it's soft plastics or a hard bait. What is this? The Crush 100 s Silent. That color's called Bluegill Fire. Oh, that is nice. I was reading the back of the package. Not really looking at the lure, but now I can see it. Very nice, very nice. Let's see, is this going to focus? Oh yeah, it's focused now. Crush 100S. I don't really fish silent crankbaits, but I do fish this size. And I know this will work, especially a bluegill pattern. Definitely have to try throwing this at the ponds I fish, especially at Evergreen. There's a ton of bluegill, and that is like the main forage in that pond. So if you can imitate the bluegills, you're going to catch the bass. So this dives 2 to 5 feet, and it's a 5 8 ounce. This is a nice crankbait. I'm pretty curious to see if they'll bite this. That's a nice pattern. You got greenish. It's like a greenish blue on the gill plate. Some black underneath it. You have an orange bottom. Orange bottom. Nice bluegill pattern right there. Let me hold it by the bill. You can get a better look at that. Again, this is a shallow diving square bill crankbait. Square bills are my favorite of the crankbaits. Also lipless crankbaits. But of course, that's because I'm a bank angler. So I can't really fish, you know, deeper divers. I can fish medium divers. But only for a limited amount of time. Only when you're at the farthest point of your cast. That is a very nice. And again, they come with those nice hooks. Those are very sharp. And you get that oval shape line tie. Very nice. Put that back in the little package. Let's see what's next. So far, I like what I see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have in here? Reaching in the bag at random. I'm gonna grab this. What is this? Oh, I don't have one of these. You know, I've seen these on this website, on their website recently, and I was wondering. It looks like a jerk bait, like kind of like a topwater lure, 
But it doesn't have that bill on the front. That hyper jerk. What is it called? Merthylate flash. Let's open this up real quick. Yeah, it's a 3 8 ounce, 70 millimeters. Never fish this color before, you guys. <coughs> Again, Marthylate Flash. It's like an orangish, copperish, pinkish color. Very interesting. You got a feather treble on the back. Is it better if I hold it like this? Very nice. I'm pretty sure that shows up very well on the camera. Pretty much on the center right there. You have a really dark eye and they paint it with black. As you can see, you got the line tie up here. Pretty sure this is like a topwater lure. Or very shallow diving. The hyper jerk. What do they say about it? Let me see real quick. Yeah, it's an ultimate finesse reaction bait. Use quick twitches, jerks, and pops of the rod. It will dive and dart below the surface. Erratic action mimics a fleeing or injured bait fish. So they're giving you pretty good lures. I mean, you want to imitate the bait fish right now, especially in the fall, which we're at the end of fall now, but I'm sure this will still work, especially a couple weeks ago, Alex and I were fishing a pond. The jerk bait was working extremely well. I'm pretty sure throwing this, we would have had less nags because this will probably stay a little bit higher in the water column. And this definitely would be giving you that bait fish action. Pretty nice. Interested to try that. I was curious about these, so now I have one to try. That, that'll be exciting. Gotta throw that at the ponds. See what happens. Let's see what's next. So far we got three lures, and I like them all. I'll grab one of the bags. What is this? Oh, I wanted some of these. That looks like the prawn. I'm looking at the back. The prawn 4.2 inch green pumpkin juice. Yeah, I wanted some of these. There's a lot of a lot of good reviews on these. People like them a lot. People mainly use them flipping and pitching, but I know you can Texas rig it. Get you a lot of bass. You could probably use it as a trailer too. Let me get one out real quick. Green pumpkin juice. Now this doesn't look like a normal green pumpkin. Because they have purple and blue in there in the glitter as well. Well, their clamshell packaging is top notch. This is an eight pack right here. There we go. Pop that open. All right, I'm gonna grab one. You have a lot of appendages. Don't forget to separate these appendages before fishing it. Very nice lure. Like I said, you have that blue, purple, and black. Different colored glitter in there, very nice. Definitely going to get a lot of action. Look at these very thin appendages here. And like I said, you got these two here and this one. Now, some people do leave this. It depends where you're fishing. So a little tip for you guys. If you're fishing in a ton of grass and you don't want to get snagged, you want this lure to glide through that grass a little bit better, leave these appendages together. Do not pull them apart. But if you want that kicking action, then yes, you're going to pull these apart. You can see right there. Very nice, the prawn. I finally have some of these. I don't have any. So I get to try that out. Pretty sure we're gonna get fish to bite those. Again, they have a ton of good reviews. I feel like that's one of their main lures. The prawn. The prawn. So we've opened up two soft plastics and two hard baits. Let's see what's next. Again, in these sacks, you get about, I wanna say six to eight lures. Let's see what's next. Let's see what's next. I feel a hard bait. Oh, it is a hard bait. Oh, it's kind of stuck up here on the top. Look at that. It's stuck up here. But you can see what that is. One of my favorites. That's right, you guys. A lipless crankbait by Six Cents. The Quake 70. And a really nice color right there. Wild Lava Craw. I do not have this one. I have a Crimson Craw. And that caught me a pretty big bass last fall at Evergreen, so I'm excited to try this one. Definitely have to throw it. Again, the Quake 70, it's a 5 8 ounce lure. It's a bit of a heavier lipless crankbait, but you can definitely cast them much farther because of that. And you're gonna be able to deep fish them deeper. Let's see. That is a nice color. They got some nice paint jobs on these lures. Crimson Crawl, look at that, you guys. Very nice, very nice. 
like a red on top and then you go to orange in the middle and then it's like a yellow on the bottom you got the gray stripes and those dark black eyes again the sharp hooks and your oval line tie which is pretty nice quality components on all these lures pretty sure that's gonna get us a big fish I'm pretty excited to try that I love lipless crankbaits there you can hear it don't want to get the hook in the fingers very nice very nice let's see what's next in the package that quick 70 I'm gonna have a little collection of those now and I don't mind it haven't lost one yet so that's good so far they catch quality bass quality sized bass I'll put that in the package later those trebles giving me a little bit of trouble Let's see what's next. I believe we have, yeah, you can feel it. Two more items. Let's see what's this. Some soft plastics. I'm looking at the viewfinder. Clout 5.4 Green Pumpkin. Now I have, I do have some of these. I fished them on the Wacky Rig, caught me some bass. I fished them on the Texas Rig, caught me some bass. I do not have this color though, and I know this will work. Green Pumpkin is a color that will work year round, you guys. Year round. Especially in natural water, clear pond water. Yeah, you throw that, you're gonna catch some fish. Very nice green pumpkin. Again, Texas rig it or wacky rig it. You're gonna catch bass. The Clout 5.4, pretty standard single style lure. And you get a 10 pack. Again, these are 5.4 inches. I don't know if I mentioned that. Pretty average size for a single style lure. There you can see it. And they do have a ton of scent on them too. Pretty sure we're going to catch fish on those very quickly. It might be one of the first lures I tie on. Ton of confidence in those lures. And we got one last item in the bag. What is it? The Kerr Finesse Square Bill. I do like these. Little Finesse Square Bills do extremely well at the river I fish at that spot. Bunch of rocks to bounce these off of. That is a nice color there. What is it called? Rambo Red. Actually, this, I might have this exact color in their Quake 70. I might have to go look because I believe it is their red cross with that white stripes. Again, this one is a 3 8 ounce and it dives 1 to 3 feet. Very shallow diving square bill. Ton of confidence on this. And these are pretty good colors for the spring. We're getting some crawfish patterns. And spring is coming up. They want you to have these lures just in time. So why not send them a little bit early? That's perfectly fine with me. Look at that little crawl pattern. Lipless. Not a lipless. Shallow diving crankbait. Finesse square bill. Very nice. Very sharp hooks. Oh yeah, they're very sharp. Very nice crawl. I like that. I like that. I don't have a finesse square bill that's a crawfish pattern, so now I do. That's exciting. If you ever have to downsize, that can be key, especially in the winter. The winter months are coming. You're going to want to downsize your lures. That might get us some big ones. We might have to tie that on. Anyways, that's all in this month's bag, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that six cents premium subscription unboxing. I'll show you guys all the lures one more time. Again, we started off with the Divine Swim Baits. 3.2 inch live minnows. Pretty nice. I like these for trailers, but you can fish them on their own. Or you can put them on an underspan. Many ways to fish those. We have the prawn. I'm ready to Texas rig that. Might put it as a jig trailer. Might have to cut it down a little bit, but that's fine. Prawn. What color was that? Green pumpkin juice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Excited to try those. I don't have any prawns. Now I do. That clout 5.4. Green pumpkin. Sankle style lure. It's going to catch fish. No questions asked. This one, I could not get it back in the package, but we'll try it in a little bit. The Quake 70. Again, that was Wild Lava Craw. Very nice lipless crankbait. Definitely going to get us some bass. What else do we have here? We have that Hyper Jerk 70. Marthiolate color. Marthiolate flash. Excited to try this. I've never caught a fish on one of these, so I'll have to try it. And we have the Crush 100S Silent, which I don't think I have many silent crankbaits. I always get the ones with rattles. Well, we'll try this. We'll try to sneak up on those bass. 
some people do believe you got to go silent sometimes so now we have that option and in a bluegill pattern that was called bluegill fire and last but not least that Kerr finesse square bill very nice color right there in rambo red can't wait to try that definitely gonna catch fish i know it will at the river just gotta swim it quickly through the rocks parallel the bank Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video, you guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We recently hit 350 subscribers. The goal is 500 for now, you guys. Come on. I know we can do it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.